Hi and welcome to The Roost. If you follow my blog or my Facebook page at all, you know that I have a new man. This is the Would You Be Mine stamp set and I just absolutely love this guy. He follows me around everywhere. I have breakfast with him every morning. I have a little cutout that sits at my table. I know I'm kind of crazy, but I have a, a logging background. My family's from northern Minnesota, and my dad was a logger, and my uncles were loggers, and I just think he's so cute. His little chicken legs look so much like my husband's, it's not funny. But anyways, I think this is a great stamp set for guy cards, and how many of us are always looking for a guy card? Um, I think every guy is going to get him for their birthday this year. So I'm just going to show you really quick how easy he is to work with. So we're just going to stamp him on with the tuxedo, uh, Memento Tuxedo Black. And then I've got Cherry Cobbler. And we're just going to ink up his shirt. And we're going to go ahead and do his shirt. And this is so slick. Voila! He has his red flannel shirt. It's that easy. Now, I like to go back and color his pants and his skin and, you know, all the rest of him with my Blendabilities markers. So, if you take the Wisteria Wonder Medium and the Medium Coastal Cabana, you will get the most awesome denim color. It looks just like a pair of blue jeans. And this really does go pretty fast. I love coloring, but a lot of my customers do not. So I find they, they sometimes get a little annoyed with me, and maybe you will too, because I just love coloring. So then I need my medium coastal cabana. And he does look kind of like he's got his long johns on when he's got the... Uh, the Wisteria Wonder colored uh, legs. But now we're going to give him his, put his blue jeans on. So there, doesn't that look like a pair of denim pants? And then, you know, you just go on and finish coloring him. He's got his um, flannel lined pants on, so we got to give him a little, a little flannel lined pants. And then we're going to go with the um, skin tones, you know, because because he needs he needs a little skin tone here. And I'm using the natural for him because, you know, he's he's like a working dude. We can't have him too light colored. He's out in the sun all the time. Or the snow. Actually, in Minnesota, loggers do a lot of their work in the wintertime. So, then we're going to take a little bit of the blush and we'll go back because you know he's out in the cold we've got to give him some red cheeks and a red nose like his boots I'm going to give him some boots oops missed the tongue and the handle of his axe Maybe it's belt. Oh, I forgot to do his belt loops. Go back with the Coastal Cabana and catch his belt loops here. And then for his um, axe and his beard, I like to use the uh, Smoky Slate. So I'm going to start with the light. And we'll just fill this in. You know, you could do his belt buckle in that too. And then for the beard, I just kind of give him a few gray whiskers. Because I'm of the age where, you know, my sexy dudes all have gray hair. You'll get there too someday. Just wait and see. So I'm just going to give this a little bit darker color. And then I think he probably needs a red hat too to go with his. Red shirt. 
Now, he's pretty sassy, so I'm going to pull out the Sassy Celebrations Happy Birthday. And just, hopefully I left myself enough room down here. Give him a happy birthday. And... I've already lost my stamp set. Can you believe that in my mess? In this stamp set are some really cool trees that you can use for background. And they are a two-step stamp as well. So we've got the trees with the lines and the plain trees. And I am going to use the wild wasabi for the background color. And the... Um, old olive on top of that because I like the combination of old olive and and the um, wild wasabi. Now I'm just going to set a scrap piece of paper here. If you really wanted to get fancy you could do one of your men and cut him out and then use him for your for your mat um, or mask I should say. So I'm just going to go ahead like that and then we'll do this side. I've got a fairly narrow piece here, so you aren't going to see a lot. And if you if you did the whole mat, you could actually get in between here as well. It's the better way to do it. And then we're going to go back with the old olive and do our lined one. And we'll just go ahead and take this off of here so we can line them up. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and line them up. Whoops. Better cover his hand or he's going to have tree covered hands, which probably most loggers do. Now, Stampin' Up! also, just to add to the fun, came out with a pad with, would you look at this? I mean, how awesome is this? So, we have some logs stacked up, we have rocks. We have some boards. This is just awesome to match this. Look, birch, just some trees in the woods. There are so many neat ones in here to use with this Would You Be Mine stamp set. So, let me show you one way you can use it. I've just cut this Knight of Navy and, and layered it on a old olive card base, just a standard size card base, and my, um, this is like a quarter inch smaller, all the way around, cat hair, oh I love cat hair, um, and then I've got my, my new man here, and he's just going to get layered on here, kind of centered. And then he's got his pile of wood that he has chopped. You know, he's got his axe, he's got his pile of wood. He did a really good job, didn't he? He's got a huge pile of wood for the day. Now, wouldn't this make just a great birthday card for a guy? So, I hope you enjoyed my Would You Be Mine um, demonstration. And if you want to get your own, host a party, uh, go to my blog, place an order online. And I hope to see you here for one of my classes. And if, you know, if you're not quite sure you want it, you can give it a test run. So, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.